дела. So it shows vacuum. Do you know what I mean? The, uh, it is showing vacuum. Yeah, but so it says it. minus. No. Why? Because I don't want you to. <laughs> so when I, I've always got to do the maths, then, haven't I? No, you haven't. So when it says 1.5, it's actually only that's, 0.5 that's, bar that's of boost. Yeah. I don't want manifold pressure. We're gonna fucking fall out already. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I have it? <sighs> right, keep going. Right. Anyway. What's that one on the left, in the rev counter? Lambda, okay, yeah. Lambda. Yeah, fuel level, that works all right? Yeah, fuel level's there, yeah. Yeah. So again, manifold pressure, oil pressure, fuel pressure, coolant pressure. Coolant level, pressure. EGT. Oh. Oil temp. Coolant. That's gonna be my default page, I think, to be honest. Yeah. Possibly, but then it's also nice to have a proper speedo, isn't it? Yes. That's great. And then, much the same, temps down one side, pressure's down the other. Lovely. Ooh. Can you um, press the accelerator a minute, see what the rev can? Cool. And then we've got nitrous pressure as well. Yes. In bar, Jesus. It's about 9,000 PSI. Nitrous when it's like fully charged up. Okay. So I think it's 940 bar the sensor reads up to. So. Okay. Right. But we need to plumb that in. We need to get it calibrated. Okay. All right. So these are the ones that I'm still working on. I say we could we could look at these in there and then yeah. decide what you want in there, and then okay. I could just come out and just flash it in. So I mean, I mean, I suspect that in practice I'm going to use two. Screens. Yes. You know, I'm not going to be cycling through hundreds. Just I think if we can nail those first two, yeah, I'll be happy. So then we've got boost up, and then that goes green, high yep. boost, yep, medium boost, and then low boost. Does that one do anything? Uh, not yet. Yeah, it turns the light on and makes it flash. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't do anything yet. No. Okay. Yeah, so let me just have another quick look at this. So, so that's page one. So what would I want on here? Would I want ethanol content? I don't think so, because actually... Look, you know, once you've set, once once you've you've set, set it, it in, you don't need to keep watching it. You don't it. need to keep watching it. And if, and if it's on a screen somewhere else, so if I... Yes. Does it go backward? That one. This one's default, okay. That's the one it'll always start up on. So because lambda, of course you want to be able to see RPM and vehicle speed yeah. when you're just driving up the road. Yeah. Battery, do I really need to see battery? It's nice. I know. It does. It is nice, but we can put something else. I wonder there. if we if we swap out battery and have ethanol I'll content. Ethanol then it's there, there, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put ethanol there. And let's have a debate about manifold pressure versus boost. Well is boost hard to hard to see? Yeah, it's if you want to see boost, it does it in fing PSI and I hate PSI. Didn't we have it in bar before? No. Okay. No. You can't read it in bar. Yeah, well, you can, but you, you've got to you've got to put in a multiplier in the ECU to subtract ten from it, basically, or multiplier yeah. of ten to get that to run backwards. Ooh. So. Fine. Leave it as it is. So just stay there. Yeah. <sighs> I will grab that. I will go and grab a laptop. Okay. So, he's done a lot of work to customise the Haltech display. He's written a lot of bespoke code through the CAN stream so that the Haltech now displays 
engine parameters that it doesn't display from factory. So you spend quite a lot of time on that. And so what we're doing is we're just finalising the layouts that we'll have on a few of the different Haltech screens. And there are always certain things that I want to see and I want to be able to just glance at them and not have to scroll through. That's the whole point of a dig digital dash is that you've got everything right in front of you and you're not having to scroll or look at different gauges around the place. So he's just going to fetch his laptop and we're going to make a couple of quick changes, but it's looking fantastic. I absolutely love the Haltech and what you can't see because it's just idling is the fact that at the top you've got this row of uh, that, uh, shift lights so that you can uh, also program those so that they do the things you want them to do. It's really clever. I like a thin knob. Yeah. Prefer a thin knob to a fat knob. I'm gonna have to go into hardcore hacking mode. It shows a mine, I think. Oh, you've done it. It's not the minus I need, it's the, it should say minus 0.5 or whatever, not minus 50. It's what? <laughs> so in boost, it's now going to say 10, One. 20, no, it's not, but I need it to say 2.5 bar or 2.0 bar. You need a different scaling factor. You're a pain in the ear, so you know that, do you? This is what normal people need. It's not. It is. Marco hacking mode. Oh, it's not great TV this at all, I'll tell you that. Cut the, out. the manifold pressure reading has suddenly jumped to three bar and stuck there, which is why the engine cut out. Oh, 10 hours maybe? Sh shouldn't really be a disposable item, should it? No, it shouldn't, no. Why, what's wrong? Uh, the map sensor, Martin thinks, is faulty, um, but it's almost a brand new thing. We fitted it when we put the bigger turbo on on the old engine uh, because we needed a four, three bar map sensor, four bar map sensor, um, but it's in some funny reading, so we've got to replace it. Right, Right, so yeah. if you're displaying manifold pressure up there in bar, yeah. the manifold pressure is manifold absolute pressure. Yeah. You can, it doesn't have an option to send manifold gauge pressure, mm. which is what you want to see. Yeah. You can't send it. It doesn't have manifold okay. gauge pressure. Okay. okay. It can do KPA yeah. in gauge, but not manifold pressure. Okay. It can do PSI engage. in gauge, but again, not, not bar. Okay. You can only send bar yeah. in absolute, which is why it reads 0.5, not minus 0.5. Yeah, I see. Okay, that's fine. I can live with it. All right. Yeah. I can live with it. So we're going to put the ethanol in, battery, and then we're done. I think. Hmm.